So we're doing another relative error question, and I wanted to improve on the formula for average error and kind of see what actually goes into it. Um, average error, dy is really just delta y, and y is really just f of a. And delta y is really just f prime of a times delta x. So ultimately, I want our actual working formula for average error to be this one right here. Because this one uses the ingredients of f prime of a, delta x, and f of a explicitly. Just like our approximation formula uses the ingredients of f prime of a delta x and f of a explicitly so with our new working formula for average error let's look at something like 23 and of course the problem is uh, as before we're going to use differentials to approximate the average error and the percentage error but before we do all that, we've got to figure out uh, our ingredients of f of a, f prime of a, and delta x. Okay, so let's do that. Um, f of x is 4 root x plus 3x. Um, f prime of x is, I mean, you can pause the video and take, take the derivative if you want, but it's going to be 2 over root x plus 3. And we're given delta x. Uh, we're given a is 4. Now, of course, they label it as, as x, but we're going to call that a. a is 4. Delta x is plus minus 0 0.2. It's got the plus minus, just like in all error problems. Now let's figure out what f of a is. f of a is f of 4 which is uh, 4 times 2 plus 3 times 4, which is 8 plus 12. We'll call that 20. Again, you could have paused the video to figure that out for yourself. Uh, you can do the same thing for f prime of a, f prime of 4. Uh, looks like it's going to be about 4. There we go. We've got delta x. We've got f of a. And we've got f prime of a, which means that we're just about ready to put it all into this formula right here. Um, average error then. 4 times plus minus 0 0.2, whoops. I'm getting ahead of myself. My brain did the multiplication. Anyway, 4 times plus minus 0 0.2, all of that divided by f of a, which is 20. Um, where do these ingredients come from? f prime of a is 4. That goes here. Uh, delta x is plus minus 0 0.2. That goes here. Delta x plus minus 0.2 is here. Uh, f of a is 20. That goes in the denominator. All right, put it all together. Um, and what do we get? We get that it is uh, plus minus 0 0.8 over 20. Same as plus minus 8 over 200. Now I'm just going to, what, divide by 4, I guess. If I divide by 4, I'll get plus minus 2 over 50. Uh, divide by 2, plus minus 1 over 25. And that, of course, is our average error. Um, for the percentage error, uh, we multiply by 100. Uh, so 1 25th times 100%, of course, 
is an average error, or sorry, a percentage error of plus minus 4%. So there we go. 1 over 25, uh, give or take, and 4%, give or take, in terms of average error and average error and percentage error, respectively.